Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video, I'm going to look at new build of Windows 11, which is 25193 for Windows Insiders on the dev channel. Uh, there's not a huge amount of changes with this build, actually, but so just to give me a couple of minutes and I'll show you what's new. So the first thing is over in settings, and if you go to accounts, here you can see you've got your Microsoft 365 option and um, Microsoft added in Xbox option on there as well so it'll show you Xbox or your PC game pass so your Xbox sub, um, subscriptions are on there so it shows you just as it does with your office or your Microsoft 365 your monthly subscriptions your your, your default payment that type of thing now this is only rolling out to uh, slowly to Windows Insiders so I haven't got that setting yet uh, but Microsoft say that is on its way out, so we should see see that soon. So hopefully they'll they'll get that up. I, I find it a bit frustrating sometimes they don't give, give you all the features that they talk about in the release notes. But anyway, that's one thing that the, the that has changed that, that uh, we should see soon. Um, a couple of other interesting things on here is their support for uh, Braille display. Uh, in narrator so if you've got a braille display uh, narrator works with that as well which is great if you if you need that accessibility feature the rest of the changes are, are actually fairly minor um, they've disabled the ability to share a local file uh, directly to OneDrive using the file share so they, they added this um, a few weeks ago so if you've got a local file um, I don't know that I can show you. Yeah, there's one. Uh, you had the opportunity to do this share icon, and you had the opportunity to share it to OneDrive, and they've uh, removed that um, because they're trying to refine the um, the experience. They say they fixed the issue with .NET Framework 3.5, so you can get .NET Framework 3.5 installed again, which is good. Uh, that was a bug before and they fixed some taskbar issues where the like the overflow wouldn't use the exact uh, accent color so the overflow is when you get the little three dots there when you fill up this taskbar uh, they fixed some issues with uh, uh, taskbar and explore exe crashing and uh, they fixed some multi-monitor issues uh, as well so if you had different dpis the taskbar would overflow and, and not look right uh, what else have they done? They fixed some issues with the start menu um, with the power option that's on the tooltip. They fixed some issues with the start menu crashing when search highlights was enabled. So search highlights down here and they fixed the issue when you it, we go into there. Um, they, they fixed some other uh, file explorer issues as well with it would when it would crash. With auto hide was um, was enabled and some GDI issues and some UI issues as well. Uh, there's also some setting fixes as well with this uh, disk cleanup. They stop that from crashing, um, and they fixed the issues with the shell experience host would when you started to cast your display from one machine to another, and they fixed the issues with um, certain apps hanging as well. There are still some known issues with this build, uh, anti cheat software, the old f familiar one there, so it cause your PC to crash. Um, there's a couple of new ones actually. Uh, they're investigating reports inside the experience bug checks when moving the mouse in certain games and uh, reports that inside, inside the team OneDrive set up ask for permission every time the PC reboots. I've rebooted this machine and I haven't seen that yet so I guess it's not happening for everybody and there's um, they're working on a fix where some things like copy paste and, and uh, empty recycle bill uh, may not be enabled when you need them as well. I haven't seen anything like that on my machine so far um, and they've got a couple of widget issues as well I'm doing this on my VM because my uh, Surface Go is uh, is not working very well uh, with touchscreen issues and so on so I'm going to find another physical device to to run these uh, dev builds I've got another device which is running the beta build so I need to keep finding devices so that's why I'm using VM and Hyper-V works great for testing these builds if you ever thinking of testing Windows inside of builds and you've got a machine that supports Hyper-V then it's a great way to do testing without destroying your, your main machine. So that's it with this build. Um, not too much stuff in there. Hopefully we'll get some new features soon. You can find out more on digitallifestyle.com. I'm at uh, your sticks on Twitter. Thanks for watching.